Clipper C2 model from Decor. Rather interesting things. And granted, it takes a standard duck bill as a comparison. Here's an old U.S. diver's uh, second stage actuator uh, diaphragm, and it's approximately a little bit too big, but could be trimmed down to use. Now the C2 has a retaining gasket on its uh, diaphragm to give it an extra seal, and this diaphragm is actually right here. This one is actually silicone rubber. It must have been a late model replacement. So it's actually in really good shape, but you can see the pull on the various holes uh, for clamping it down, and I think that's the reason why they went with this one. Actually, might have been one that was modified by a dive shop. But you have this retaining band uh, gasket go over the top of it to give it that extra seal and strength when you put it on the uh, the can body here. And of course, it's six bolts in and around. It's a pain in the rear. <laughs> they cornered to get away from from uh, some of the uh, patents of uh, U.S. divers and stuff. Uh, Davis Corporation, founded by a Marine, a Mr. Davis, former Marine, uh, uh, had to have some really interesting engineering savvy. Now here is a second stage release, and it's under constant pressure because it is a, uh, it is a, uh, let me make sure I get my terms right, it is a downstream release, downstream release, uh, and it's held under tension here by this actuator lever. And there is no spring inside here. This little piece comes off and you can reinsert a new seat here, and the seat is actually inside here, the second stage seat. We have a spring actuator mechanism in the back that releases. If you can see that or not, I'm not sure. It's dark. It releases right there, see? So it's under pressure, and once you release it, it pops up and goes ahead and flows. The main first stage area right here is fairly straightforward, but with a twist. This is a first stage diaphragm from a C2. And you can see it's, I put some lube on it, it's very much shot out. You could probably use, I don't know, three, two millimeter, three millimeter uh, cl uh, cloth impregnated or rubber sheeting and create a new one, but you have to get your holes just right. So don't throw these away. You can use them as a template. They're also the primary seal for the body to the can. Uh, rather interesting. This one's definitely seen better days. But actually, I'm surprised it's still fairly flexible. When you, you know, here in my dive view, I'm looking to book Saudi Arabia. Of course, the actuator spring, you have this cover plate that goes over all of that good stuff for the first stage. And there's a spring that hangs up here as you put it on. So you have a spring underneath there. So when you're putting it back together, just get a start on one screw. Sort of like putting a tire on. You want to rotate around you know, clockwise, you know, or actually opposite. Screw here, screw there, screw here, screw there. The second stage seat mechanism will be the last thing you put in. And underneath here, there's another screw, which also acts as a uh, anchoring rig for the retaining for the actuator spring for the second stage. And uh, the lever has a little screw and nut on it. Word of warning. Okay, this is a main body from a C2, and it has a uh, on its first stage. You can go ahead and uh, you can remove the first stage front face. It is a it is a uh, balanced first stage. It has little cutouts on the inside right there. It is under complete pressure all the way around. There's no single one exit. Uh, the thing is, I believe, Decor, one of the reasons we have problems taking this main brass body off, and I took this one off because, I'm not sure if you can see it on this or not, but 
This one has insipid cracks in it. Right there, you might be able to see it. Well, maybe. You can see that insipid crack right there. It has two of them. It's to the right hand, about the 3 o'clock position. You'll see that insipid crack. Well, I didn't want to go diving with this thing and have it literally have the body crack apart, which is, could possibly happen. What I think Decor did is they put a sealer. There's a copper seal ring, seal washer, in between the yoke and the uh, uh, first stage of body, the first stage itself. And I believe they put some kind of sealant in and around the screws to help that seal up more. And what I did is I used modern sealant because when I took this thing apart, all kinds of interesting crud came floating out around the uh, the area in between the uh, first stage and the uh, the uh, solid brass body. An interesting, chunky looking rubber stuff, almost like pipe dope. As a matter of fact, I think that's what they use. But that helped them seal up this. And you have a copper washer here, and that really was more for the uh, yoke to rotate around the assembly. Pretty much, that's all there really is to it. As far as setting IP pressure and things like that on the uh, C3, uh, uh, you just got to sit there and tweak it nice and easy. Uh, what I've done is I've gone and uh, you know got it on there. You have to have a decor tool, and you can go ahead and I do have one, and I've already set this one, uh, and it's running right about oh on a high pressure rig, it's running about uh, 1, 1 uh, 35, which is more than enough since it's balanced. The main thing is it's got that uh, the down stage. And believe me, if you overpressurize it, this little return, this little lever here on the first stage, that little nut, that little nut comes out and you can pull your first, second stage seat out. Uh, what, what this will do is it will eventually get so much force if you overpressure it it will bleed on its own. And so you got to tweak it around a little bit uh, and follow the, uh, the uh, suggestions from Decor. They're available at Vintage Double Hose and also uh, Rob over at the Scuba Museum. Uh, he knows how to set them too. But you talk to Brian at Scuba Museum or Rob uh, over at the, uh, uh, excuse me, Brian over at Vintage Double Hose and Rob over at the Scuba Museum and uh, they can get you some good uh, stuff online or punch in the right direction. The vintage double hose has got a lot of this stuff on there. Uh, the main difference I noticed between the C2 and the C3, the C3 has a dedicated, uh, has a dedicated, uh, let me see if I can get it up here, has a dedicated uh, redesigned uh, second stage diaphragm, actuator diaphragm, and it does not, evidently they beefed it up and they got rid of this this ring, this extra seal ring, and they went ahead and they beefed up the rim on the uh, on the uh, second stage diaphragm so you don't have to have one of these things to sit there and seat it down nice. Well, that's all there is. That's my little exploration there today. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The problem is getting uh, parts for it. And I lucked out on eBay and I got a couple of two or three bodies uh, some of them weren't, some of them were C3 bodies, some were C2, but the parts were interchangeable, fairly much, about 99% interchangeable, with a few exceptions. Uh, so have fun out there.